This is a Magic the Gathering set from which you are not playing enough cards in your commander deck, but properly utilized, they will return with a verdict of victory. This is a set called Judgment, and for my 50th video where I recommend you Magic the Gathering cards, we're going to take a look at a number of cards for this set that are spicy, some of them downright wacky. Judgment was the third in the Odyssey block set that was released way back in May 2002 and has a couple of identifying qualities. First being that it's a set that focuses heavily on the graveyard. It's going to do a lot of putting things into the graveyard, taking advantage of things in the graveyard, exiling things from the graveyard, you get the picture. Second, all of the gold cards in this set are all Selesnia. So each gold card in here is going to be green-white. One of the more popular cards in the set for Commander being Marari's Wake, which can double your mana and give you that nice little anthem effect. Another gold card that's very good from the set that honestly not enough people play with is called Hunting Grounds. This enchantment says as long as seven or more cards are in your graveyard, Hunting Grounds has, whenever an opponent casts a spell, you may put a creature card from your hand onto the battlefield. Only for two mana. There's a whole cycle of creatures you've probably seen at the commander table that when those creatures are in the graveyard, they will actively give your creatures on the battlefield some type of bonus. This cycle includes Anger, Brawn, Filth, Wonder, and Valor. But we are just getting started. This set has some absolutely crazy cards that can totally warp a game. Let's start in red with the card Planar Chaos. For two and a red, it's an enchantment that says, at the beginning of your upkeep, flip a coin. If you lose the flip, sacrifice Planar Chaos. Whenever a player casts a spell, that player flips a coin. If they lose the flip, counter that spell. This is a bonkers card that basically makes every spell that is cast a 50-50 chance on whether or not it's going to be countered. When it gets on the table, it's nutty. Moving on to blue, let's take a look at a card called Spelljack. For three blue, 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 it's an instant. Counter target spell. If that spell is countered in this way, exile it instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. You may play it without paying its mana cost for as long as it remains exiled. So it's fairly high costed at the three blue, 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 right? But if you're using it to counter someone's win condition, like say a Crater Hoof Behemoth, imagine not just countering it, but actually taking it and then you can cast it on your turn and hit them back with it. Being a graveyard based set, black has some really interesting effects. Morality Shift is a card for five black, black and is a sorcery. Exchange your graveyard and library, then shuffle your library. This is such a unique effect. I mean, there are so many cards out there that do something that's kind of like this, but what other card swaps, just straight up swaps your graveyard and library? That's nuts. There's a card in green that's starting to catch on, showing up in certain competitive EDH circles called Seed Time. For one in green, it's an instant. Cast the spell only during your turn. Take an extra turn after this one if an opponent cast a blue spell this turn. In many CEDH circles, they're playing with a lot of blue counter magic, so the likelihood that you're going to be able to get an extra turn off of this is pretty high. We absolutely have to top this off with an alternate win condition card. This is called Test of Endurance. For two white white, it's an enchantment. At the beginning of your upkeep, if you have 50 or more life, you win the game. I mean, you already start off with 40 life in Commander anyway, so getting another 10 life and then using some type of effect to protect yourself, like a Glacial Chasm or something, this is not going to be that hard to pull off an alternate win con. We are actually going to open this pack in just a second, but if you liked any of the cards that I showed you today, and you're going to get them through TCG Player, please use my affiliate code of Aristocards1. It helps to support me here, and you were going to get the cards anyway, so thank you. All right, so here we go. This is my pack of judgment. We're going to open it right now and see what we get. All right, here we go. First card we have is a Phantom Tiger. Suntail Hawk. Go closer there. Barbarian Bully. Harvester Druid. Trained Pronghorn. Dwarven Scorcher. Ear Splitting Rats. Defy Gravity, Lava Dart, Let Astray, 
Iron Shell Beetle. Oh, <laughs> this is upside down. <laughs> the heck? Okay, well, let's turn this around. Now we're getting into the uncommons. We have a Worm Fang Turtle. Brawn, there's one of the ones I was telling you guys about there. It looks good. A Soul Catcher's Airy. Airy? Airy? I don't know how, he's, no, how do you guys say that? And <laughs> a Worm Fang Behemoth. All right, so, you know, not a fantastic rare, but, uh, you know, we weren't expecting anything that amazing from the packs anyway. But that's Judgment. Interesting set.